Hi everyone. Welcome to Snug Harbor Science Discoveries at Home. Today, my kids and I are gonna explore in our yard to see what kind of flowers we have and to figure out if they're perfect or imperfect. Perfect flowers have all the parts it needs to create seeds. That means it has both the female and the male parts. Here we have a picture of a perfect flower. You can see it has the female parts, which are called the pistil, and it consists of the stigma, style, ovary, and the ovule. The ovary is where it will be fertilized and become the fruit. The male part is called the stamen. It has the anther, which is what produces the pollen, and the filament. You also can see here the petal and the sepal, which are both needed to protect the inner parts of the flower, in addition to also attracting pollinators like bees. All right, it looks like we have a purple hyacinth and a yellow daffodil. All right, kiddos. Let's dissect these flowers and see if they are perfect or imperfect. Okay, I am going to cut up this flower and see what parts and what's inside it. Huh? It's slimy. I see the pistol, the Stamen. Stamen. Stamen, and uh, it's a perfect flower. Excellent, let's take an up close look and see. I see there's the oval. You see the ovule? The right. small eggs that right. turn into a seed after the fell, after mm -hmm. it dies. And can you see the anthers there too? The, there are anthers that pro produce pollen. Excellent. Fantastic. Do you see the petals on the flower? Yeah, the petals that modify leaves that uh, have unique shape and color to it attract pollinators like bees and hummingbirds. Excellent. I'm going to cut apart this daffodil and see if it's a perfect or an imperfect. inside. I can see the oval. Ovule? An ovule. Mm -hmm. I can see the eggs that turn into the fruit. Into the seeds and the, the fruit seeds. there. And look at the long, do you see the long yeah. filaments um, there? Uh -huh. And the anther on the top? And I see the petals. And the interesting part about daffodils, there's this one big petal going up. Mm -hmm. That's called the cup. The cup. Does that it protect the stuff in the inside? It protects the, um, uh, what's it called again? That's the stamen. The stamen. So would you say this is a perfect or an imperfect flower? A uh, perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. So it looked like my kids found two perfect flowers in our yard. We had the purple hyacinth and the daffodils. My kids had a lot of fun dissecting them and figuring out if they were perfect or imperfect. Stay tuned for more science discoveries at home with Snug Harbor. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.